Okay, here we are with another layout. So this is the last one that I did. So I'm just turning the page and I have another uh, page prepared and I'm gonna do another double layout here, okay? So I'm just gonna get the ones that are finished under there out of the way. Okay, so we're gonna do another double layout here. Uh, and I'm gonna walk you through everything you need. Decide what kind of design paper you want, whatever your theme is throughout this album. Pick out, you know, some papers that look good. And you wanna start with two uh, eight and a half by 11 base pieces. Of course, those will go, uh, those will go right here, okay? So two eight and a half by 11 base pieces and those can get adhered straight down. I'm not using any magnets uh, on this page, although there is an interactive element that is gonna need a closure. And for that closure, I am using like swing tabs. Okay, so I have chosen a, another design piece and I've cut them into strips. So this one is going to go on the right layout and this one is gonna go on the left layout. It's, it's uh, not quite as wide as that one and it's definitely shorter. So this one measures two and three quarters by 11 two and three quarters by 11, and this one is just two inches by nine. Okay, so two inches by nine. So I'm not gonna adhere them down just yet. This piece, um, you know, just figure out, figure out what pieces you wanna use where, and once you kind of have a, a, an idea for that, this is going to be, this piece is going to fold so technically it really doesn't need to be as wide as my piece. But anyways, I cut mine seven by nine inches, okay? Seven by nine inches. And I'm gonna lay everything on here and make sure I have enough space for these. And what I wanna do is I want to make a score line pretty close to these two photo mats. This little guy is gonna go here. And I do want him overlapping onto this piece um, slightly. Okay, so that looks good to me. So this is probably about a quarter or three eighths of an inch away from the edge, this strip here. And I've got this one probably about a quarter inch away from this edge. Oh, and my photo mats here are four by four exactly. So now I wanna do a score line pretty close to um, those photo mats. So I would say I'm going to score from this edge two and three quarters, two and three quarters. Okay. Oh, and I probably should have turned it over and scored in that direction. Not that it really matters. Okay, so this is going to get folded like that. Oh, 
That's about three eighths of an inch away again. And this one is about a quarter of an inch away from the edge. So then when we have these down, this whole thing will fold open like that and we'll have more photos and more photos, okay? So let's just figure out where we want these. All right, so I want to glue this down first. I want it about a quarter of an inch away from this edge and I want it centered between the top and the bottom. I am just gonna eyeball it. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and adhere this about three eighths of an inch away from this edge. Perfect. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so these can go here. You probably wanna go ahead and get those in position now. And I have these little paws that I print then cut with my silhouette um, from just regular paper. And then uh, using my you know, 80 pound textured cardstock. I cut four, four more, and I'm gonna put two of them together and then put this one on top. So it's a nice strong piece, and that will be what holds this closed down there and what holds it closed down here. There we go. <laughs> This one will go upside down. So then we we'll swing them around and then you can open this. Okay. So I am going to adhere these down. This is gonna go here and you can, I want it to overlap, but it can't overlap past that score line, of course. So probably something like that, okay. But let's go ahead and get these, these prepared. Okay, so I've got these put together and I want, I want to situate them so that when they're facing away from the page, so when the toes are pointing away from the page, they're not covering up our flap here. So that's perfect and that's perfect. Um, Then I'm gonna stab a hole. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, and then, oops, so I have to go through the base page since I adhered this piece down already. I don't have a, oh, you know what would look pretty? I bet you gold would look pretty. All right, so that is going to go there. Over here, so I've got this little panda and her, or her mommy, and then I have some words of comfort. going to go over there somewhere. Um, so for this piece here, you want to cut a piece of your base cardstock. I believe it's eight and yep, that measures eight and three quarters by five and a half by six. So this, you need to cut a piece of base cardstock that measures eight and three quarters by six. Okay, and then what you're going to do with your eight and three quarters by six, so it's, it's just a perfect rectangle, right? It, um, for you, it's a perfect rectangle. You wanna pick a side that is the back. You can see I have pencil marks here. So pick whichever side is the back. You want to take your um, one of these babies, I guess it's a sewing ruler, and you want to measure in one inch from three sides. So the two, the two shorter sides, you want to measure in one inch, which is exactly there, and you will draw a line. On the other shorter side, same thing. You will measure in one inch and you'll draw a line. And then from one of the longer sides, it doesn't matter which, same thing, you'll measure one inch, you'll draw a line, and then for the remaining length, the longer side, the one, the one remaining side that um, is the long, one of the two longer edges, you'll measure a half an inch. Half an inch in from that edge and you'll draw a line. Okay, your two shorter edges, you're measuring in one inch. One of your longer edges, you're measuring in one inch and one of your uh, other long edge, you're measuring in a half an inch, okay? And then from that point, my ruler is not wide enough to use this. So what I did from the very, very edge, I measured four and a quarter, put a little dot mark there, same thing here, four and a, sorry, four and one eighths. Put a little mark. 
And then on the other shorter side, same thing. Four and one eighths. Four and one eighths. So I measured four and one eighths in and four and one eighths in. And then I just drew a line to connect those two dots. And I drew a line to connect those two dots. Let me make sure that's right. Yes, okay, so then when you are done, you are left with four lines around the edge and one going down here and one going down here and you're just going to cut out those two inner frames where all of the uh, pencil lines intersect, okay? And then just put this in your scoreboard and you are going to score on those two, those three sides where you've got a whole inch, you're gonna score at one half, you're gonna score at one half, and you're gonna score at one half. And on the one side where you only have a half inch, no scoring. And then you are just going to cut off the corners where those two squares are. And then you're gonna fold and burnish on your three score lines. So you are left with this, okay? And then this I created in silhouette because I wanted to use this design. So it wouldn't really work if I just cut strips. Strips would work depending on the, you know what your decorative paper looks like, but it wouldn't work here. So I created this in silhouette and I'll, I have the file attached below or linked below because I don't think I could have done this by hand. I've tried and I never get it right. <laughs> All right. I also have a piece of white cardstock and a piece of crafter's plastic. Both of those are cut just a tiny smidge, tiny, tiny bit smaller than this and this. So like if this is exactly seven and three quarters, I cut it to a 16th of an inch shy of that. And this is exactly five and a half. I cut those to a 16th of an inch shy of that. So just a tiny smidge smaller. So we can turn this over. So we're looking at the insides where our pencil lines are. And I'm going to apply my double-sided tape. Okay burnish that score tape down real well oh yeah I need a piece here too no no I don't <sighs> never mind because we put a piece here and this is gonna get it here down yes that's definitely what you want to do sorry because that's gonna get it here down but it will have no effect whatsoever on this okay uh, so that actually we do want to put a piece there because it will secure that it will secure that um, crafter's plastic down really well. I had to think through that for a minute. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna place this in first, make sure it's lined up because once, once this baby sticks down, it's near impossible to get up. Okay, making sure it's not going over the edge here. Okay, so it's in position. So now I will just remove one side. once that's secure, then I'm good for all the other sides because I know it's lined up. Mom? Yes, honey? These aren't three pounds, they're four pounds. Oh. And then I'm just gonna let that fall in place. Make sure it's down before I burnish. Because if it's not down before I burnish, then I might push it out of place. Now I'm good. Okay. 
So I will go ahead and adhere this down. Okay, so this is going to go well, really anywhere we want it to go. And this will get adhered down right around there. This little guy can even. I love, I like to layer and overlap, but wherever, wherever you think it looks good on your page. Okay, so this is definitely going to get down it, get it here down there. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, we can adhere this down anytime really. Um, because whatever you put in there, so for this piece, you could take actual design paper, place it in here like this, just like so, make sure it's straight. And then you could put glue here, here, and here, and adhere those down. And that design paper is stuck in for good, okay? Um, you could even do it with the white cardstock. And then all, you're, all you have to do is slide a photo in. Or you can just keep it unsecured. You could glue photos to this and slide it in. It's really just kind of whatever you want to do. Um, and then if you do, actually glue a piece of paper in, then all you have to do is put glue on the outsides of these, the, the entire surface. If this is glued in, then you just put glue on the entire surface and the whole thing gets adhered down, okay? And then you just slide your photos in. I'm undecided exactly what I wanna do. I think I'm gonna leave that white because it's already pretty busy. So I think I will leave that white at least for now. And I don't wanna glue it in just yet because I might put some photo stamps on it. So that's good for now. Um, yeah, I need to decide that. <laughs> okay, well, I am going to glue this. I'm not gonna bump it up because it's got too many small pieces. Oh, and I, to make these, it was super, super, super simple. I just opened up Cricut, Sil uh, Cricut. I just opened up Silhouette Studio, typed in my text, found a font that I liked, just made sure it was centered. Actually, you know what I did for this one? I did four different text boxes, yeah. So our greatest comfort is was one text box. 
in sorrow was one, is to know was one, and that God is in control. That was, a, those were all four separate text box boxes. And then I just, um, I just used the offset feature and grouped each set separately and then printed it and then cut it. So, all right. Um, I think I want to bump these two up. And just remember that we don't want it to overlap that score line, but figure out exactly where you might want it. I think I will just stamp this. I'm just going to do uh, two more 4x4 four four photo mats underneath of this flap and then I thought it might be cute to leave this for journaling. not going to do anything here until I'm certain of what I want to do otherwise I might regret it <laughs> so I'm going to call this done for now um, but have fun do whatever you'd like on the back side of that flap or leave it blank um, and of course you may decide that this is not all this is not all for you you might want to decorate some more so have fun with it but this is this is the you know the main, <laughs> all the main elements of this page. That was what I had in mind. So had fun with it if you want to keep going and we will go on to the next layout in this album. <laughs> 